Hey guys, my name is Vidur and I'm one of the co-founders at Master Chow. Thank you so much for believing in us and purchasing our product, which is the Tinky Korean. Today, I'm going to tell you what this sauce is, how to use this sauce and what you shouldn't do with this sauce. We use real basil inside this sauce. We have some garlic, green chili, just two or three that we put in this. This adds a lot of flavor and we use a very, very high quality soya sauce. Kinky Korean sauce is the true, true symbol for the umami bomb. You get the aromats from the basil. You get the nice garlic flavor, the spiciness from this green chili. To top it all, you have this nice, yummy soy sauce. It goes best with our whole wheat noodles. It's a healthy combo that we have on our website. This sauce is also known for being very low in calories. Only 40 calories, guys. It is very useful for a, for a person who's on a healthy diet. So guys, we're making a, a healthy noodle, which is there. So we already have our whole wheat noodles, uh, carrots some zucchini and some bell peppers already in. Uh, now we're gonna add the kinky Korean. We have not added any salt. You don't need to add anything to it. You take about three to four tablespoons of the kinky Korean sauce and add it. And just mix. You've not used any, any salt, no other seasoning, just the kinky Korean sauce mixed with our noodles and veggies and we are ready. You can have this sauce with some grilled chicken or you want to have some grilled veggies. It is a perfect, perfect sauce. So I'm going to tell you now the do's and don'ts for the kinky Korean sauce. Number one, when you receive the bottle, make sure the seal is there. Second, there are about 10 or 11 ingredients. Some of the heavy ingredients will go at the bottom, so make sure you shake well before you use. Make sure you store it in the fridge for an extended shelf life. Number four, so the sauce is quite, quite like strong, so you don't need to add any salt to it. Now, if you add a little bit more of the sauce, that's okay. Add a little bit of water and it'll balance the saltiness. Thank you so much for, for purchasing and believing in Master Chow. Like, subscribe and share. And make sure to follow us on YouTube and Instagram for updated recipes. Thank you so much.